remember me and visit me can you intentionally make that a prayer this evening if you truly came expecting God to visit you can you turn that to a prayer can you cry to him can you cry to him can you insist I will not go back the same something must happen in my life that will present an evidence and a tangible proof of your mercy of your power of your grace lift your voice and talk to him lift your voice and cry visit me tonight is my night oh god visit me change my story bring a turn around in my destiny let fresh fire come upon me may i experience your mighty mighty miraculous hand of visitation can you cry to him can you cry to him Somebody reach out to Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray in jesus name we pray you are the mighty god the great i am yeah. hallelujah hallelujah you are the mighty the great I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are the mighty God. The great I am. Hallelujah. Now unto the Lamb upon the throne We raise a sound We raise a sound For you are God and God alone I Glorious in holiness, careful in praises, doing wonders, hallelujah. Amongst the gods, lift your hands. Who is like thee? Glorious in holiness, 
fearful in praises who do Hallelujah. Just lift your hands and be still. Always do win miracles. Hallelujah. Always touch in people. Hallelujah. Just be still. Allow me to sing. Always live. Sing destinies, hallelujah. Yeah. Always lift in burdens, hallelujah. Yeah. You are doing wonders, hallelujah. Yeah. Always do win wonders, hallelujah. Yeah. Father, we've come tonight. This is a miracle service. And I ask, Lord, that you visit everyone present. I pray that no life will leave this place the same. But in your love and your mercy that you will touch every life. You know their situations better than I do, O oh Lord. So let everyone live with a testimony. And let your name be exalted forever. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Just shake the hands of one, two persons around you. Welcome them to this miracle service. And please be seated. Tonight is my prayer that God will visit everyone here present. And I believe strongly that he will do because his power and his presence is in this place. So I want every one of us to be serious minded tonight and to be expectant about what God will do in our midst. To show you how serious I am of this miracle service. I wrote down my own prayer request and I came with it. I hope we wrote our prayer request and came with it. Now, if you didn't write your prayer request, please do that while I give a brief charge before we stand to pray. Okay? God must do something in your lives today. You sound like you are not alive. During the birthday session, we were all active. Now it's time for business. So don't sit on your mouth. 
I said God must do something in your life today Amen So I'll just charge us briefly And then we'll get ready to pray We are going to pray some strategic prayers tonight Because some things will shift in people's destinies today And the name of God will be exalted in Jesus name Once more I appreciate every one of us for coming I also want to appreciate Pastor Ima for taking our time to be with us Can we celebrate him? Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir, for coming. Pastor Moses is also here. Good to see you, sir. Thank you. Amen. Now, I want every one of us to be active tonight, to be involved in this service. I don't want you to just pay attention with your ears alone, but let your heart be open. And I want you to insist tonight that there must be a turnaround in your life. Now, there's a reason why I'm saying that. I've discovered that most times we come into the presence of God unprepared for what God will do in our lives. Are we together here? Are we here? I said we come unprepared to the presence of God. Some of the testimonies we heard that was shared today is a sign that God is not only alive, but that God is alive and able and active to perform today what he has done yesterday so it is important that when you come for miracle services like this your heart must be prepared to receive from god don't just come and say it's miracle service let's just go and enjoy the hype and just watch how god will move through a man or don't just go and say okay let's just go because we're invited no come expectant a lot has to do with your faith in receiving from god the bible says without faith it is impossible to please him talk more of receiving from him if you cannot please him outside of faith then how much or how sure are you that you will receive from him so we must come ready we must come expectant you must believe god that this service was put together to give you a shift in life and destiny You must believe that there is the power of God that you will encounter in this place. Can we be honest to ourselves? Can we be honest to ourselves tonight? I hope we are done with the birthday celebration. Is there any other thing? Okay. Because I was surprised all through from from coming in. I don't know, maybe they want to throw balloons here. I hope we are done. So we can face business. Alright? I told God that there is no need for me to celebrate a birthday if he doesn't visit his people. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So all of these things we did, I appreciate it and I I thank God for your lives. But the truth is, my heart is that every one of us will live here with something. If we must be honest to ourselves, everybody under the sound of my voice, one way or another, thank God for where you are in life. And thank God for the things that God has done. But let's be frank to ourselves. There is still more that God is yet to do. Some of you are here. What you need is, in fact, there is there is an emergency situation around your finances. Is either God will step in now, or you can't predict how this month will be for you. Some of you just your contract just ended. You just you were relieved from a job. And so it's either God does something now. Or you have been thrown into the unemployment market for some of us we are here because probably you've been experiencing a season of spiritual dryness regardless of the fact that january is just behind us and you know as the custom is many churches do prayer and fasting and all of that but regardless of that i know that there are a few persons here that you've been experiencing spiritual dryness your secret place has become cold no longer do you have experiences with god in the place of prayer in fact you don't even understand what's happening with your life now and so your being here tonight is because you are in desperate need of the fire of the holy ghost you need a fresh baptism of his fire for some of us we are here for the sake of our families nothing may really be happening with you but if god does not do something about your family 
even you the problems of the family are about to swallow you up am i communicating here talk to me am i talking to us here I, I just want to prepare your heart so that we can receive there's no preaching today i didn't come with a bible we are going to pray tonight is serious business for once this one at least let there be one service that becomes your service how long will you keep coming every sunday every miracle service you hear other people i've heard people sometimes when i minister to people when i go out to minister or even here sometimes you hear them tell you that none they've never been prophesied to or they've never come out openly to share a testimony is it that god is dead or what why must you be exempted from the common wealth that belongs to god's people if god is passing by and visiting people why must you be exempted from amongst those that will receive a divine touch so if you if you must be serious to receive tonight you have to ensure that your heart is completely open and you are focused it's either god visits you today or never and then with faith you are expectant believing that god will do something and your faith is what will make you participate with every part of the service when it's time to pray you pray as an action of faith knowing that god will god has heard or will hear your prayers and there will be instant manifestation some of you when it's time to lift up your hands you lift it up knowing fully well that as you stretch your hands towards heaven god's hands are coming down to pick up those hands and to lift you the bible says he lifts the poor from the dust and the needy from the dunghill so when they say lift your hands as an act of faith knowing you will receive you stretch your hands to heaven knowing that he's lifting you from that shame from that dust he's lifting you from where you are and he can bypass many levels and take you to the wealthy place you know one thing with god when it comes to changing the lives of men he has no protocol he does it as he please the bible says so that men will know that he is god he can sum up 10 years in one day ask joseph the sun and the moon and that 11 stars bowed to him all kinds of dreams he had but for 13 years he lived the shadow of himself it took only one night i've said it over and over again that god it has never gotten up to 24 hours for god to change a man's life 24 hours is too much one touch from his mighty hand to a man that is really ready to receive is enough and i strongly believe that some of you before the service is over your miracle will begin here some of you may be holding your phones on one of your hands now i want to prophesy to you that before the end of this service there is a call or a text message that will come on that phone and it will be the miracle you've been waiting for some of you may even need to own your data and check your mail after this service yeah i just heard that i myself came to receive from this service are you hearing me so i want your heart to be open tonight i want you to be expectant can you forget about everybody around you forget about what is happening around you and be intentional about the service make it your own and insist even when other people are sharing their testimonies as we as we begin to call for testimonies because there will be a time for that and other people are sharing your testimony their testimonies and you are still at your seat at that point you are still expectant knowing that god can still do something i'm talking about a faith that is alive even to the end of the service one or two occasions i've preached in services where it was at the end of the service that a word came for somebody I think it has happened here one or twice or once or twice before so i want your heart to be open there is no listen there is no man of god or woman of god or title or or office or another here everybody's heart is open you are here as a believer and you are ready to grab something from heaven the bible says from the days of john the baptist up till now the kingdom of heaven allows violence so you are ready to grab it just in case god does not give it to you hands down look at the woman with the issue of blood what kind of faith was that 
she was not afraid of what they would tell her the bible says she went in the press what if she was stampeded in that press are you going to die because of a miracle maybe if you have waited for 12 years it will be a do or die affair you know many times we are not desperate we are not this we feel that desperation is childish meanwhile desperation is the action that receives from god i'm telling you the truth you have to you have to be calculative every service has a moment and a moment can be your moment something can happen i like that song something happens and now i know he touched me and made me whole let me share a testimony with you before we read a scripture i went for a meeting many years ago i think it was in 2014 and the meeting was for four days i was only privileged to go on the last day and when we went the meeting was in the school environment they held it at the con convocation square over as at when we arrived there were over two thousand people already so we sat at the, the you know the, i don't know how their own was it's like uh, those seat arrangements that go up like this like a pavilion so we're seated up there very far you could hardly see who was on the stage but i went there calculative in my heart first of all i went there without transport somebody paid my transport so i told myself that it would be a cheating on my end knowing fully well that i don't have a means of going back and then i come to this meeting and i'm not ready to receive so every part of that service i was intentional i stood almost all through you know when you are desperate for god well some of you are still comfortable maybe there's no need for god that's why you are still where you are you are still do you you can still make do with the bread and butter that god has given you when the bread and butter finish that's when you look for god i stood almost throughout that service i didn't care who was around me many times the people behind me will say sit down i'll sit down out of respect then i'm up again i'll sit down then i was i was calculative and then in a crowd of nearly four thousand people when we began to pray guess what happened the first prophecy picked me from the crowd and that day something happened in my life that i've not recovered from till today it was that day that bettered the teaching ministry in my life anyway the guest minister was apostle joshua selman accurate word picked me from the back and look at the way i ran that day <laughs> so today when your word comes I, I am here and i'm just a vessel god can just call a name once you listen and it looks like your name you take off like a wild wind because you know that one word is enough to turn your life around are you hearing what i'm saying you have to be that desperate no big man in the presence of god how long will you keep sitting like that you've been sitting like that every service say so, okay well it's for them let them pray they say pray you say eh, let them but for once that somebody will be like the woman that had the issue of blood and calculatively touch the hem of his garment and i tell you the truth there is no situation in your life that you came with today that you will live with I'm speaking both to those on site and those that are listening online. Per adventure, you are listening online. You tried your best to be in mid-degree for this service and you could not. And then you are already disadvantaged by distance. I came to encourage you. Distance is not a barrier. Your faith can be stronger than even those of us on site. It's not by who sits in the front. Oh. It's by faith. God measures the faith in the spirit realm. And tonight, somebody will leave this place with a testimony. Yeah. John chapter 6, verse 29. John chapter 6. I said I'm not preaching today. Just want to charge us and then we'll pray. So make sure you are ready to pray when I tell us to stand up. Alright? John chapter 6, verse 29 sit sit at attention talk to him sit at attention where are your sticks you don't jot 
you don't jot in the service teeth with your sticks are you hearing me you know that the impartation of the anointing follow you you have a role to play there so no jotting listen to the message and jot later am i jotting uh-huh. so let's pay the price together be it's my birthday so i can ask for anything uh-huh. i want just let's be sensitive because uh, there's going to be a tornado in this place <laughs> john chapter 6 verse 29 jesus answered and said to them this is the work of god that you believe in him whom he sent nothing more nothing less he didn't say so is it he didn't say fast for 21 days he didn't say march around the building seven times like the walls of jericho and after seven times it will fall down he didn't say look for a river and dip yourself seven times he simply said that you believe in him whom he sent the receiving problem has always been around our faith it's not like the power of god is not present it's not like the word of god is not released to us but sometimes maybe the vessel that it comes from may not be your choice or your pick part time jesus told the jews he said this is the work of god that you believe in him whom he sent it is important that not only do you believe in god who is the source of the miracle who is the source of the word that will come to turn your life around but it is also important that you believe in the vessel through which the word will come by believing in the vessel you must discern and understand emphasis on the word discern and understand the graces that that individual represents he told elisha he said if you see me as i'm taking was he talking about if you see me raptured to heaven because elisha didn't see him the bible says as they were talking and walking suddenly there was a wild wind and chariots of fire came in between them and elijah elijah was caught up in a wild wind to heaven so all of a sudden elisha didn't see elijah what he meant by if you see me was if you discern just before i leave you have served me for 21 years but you have not discerned who i am and that's the reason why you've not laid hold on the mantle jesus often you have you have you wondered why jesus will meet people they are sick and jesus will meet them and say what do you want me to do for you it's not because he didn't know what he wants them to do for 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 for, for him he obviously knew they were sick but the reason for that that request is by what you will say i will tell if you really discern who i am and what is available to you this moment what do you want me that is first of all do you even know that i can touch you do you know that i can make you whole one time a blind man cried out to him he said son of david have mercy on me and the bible says in the midst of the crowd jesus stood he stopped and stood still so your faith if you are discerning enough to know the grace that is available tonight you can lay hold on it one of the graces in this house for instance by the grace of god is the grace of favor such that if you are connected to this commission in any way you must experience it i'm still waiting for the day that will come where i have to beg somebody for something i i have not seen that day i'm still waiting for that day I'm not just talking about favor with people who like you. I'm talking about favor with people who have told you they hated you before. Then the day they saw you. Another grace in this place is that God will honors every word that is spoken. So if you are discerning enough, then you will be ready to receive as the word is released. Like the young lady was telling us at the testimony that every time a declaration is released, you catch it with faith knowing that it is going into your life to create the possibility that was revealed through the spoken word so if the word comes and says be healed as you receive it instantly there is a change going on in your body you must be discerning enough it says that you believe in him whom he has sent john chapter 3 verse 28 
John chapter 3 verse 28. Is it 28 now? Okay, give me 26. Aha, uh -huh. thank you. 34 now. He said, for he who God has sent, he whom God has sent speaks the words of God, for God does not give the spirit by measure. He whom God has sent speaks the words of God, not his word. Once God has authorized a man, a human agent, and has sent that man your way, every word spoken by that mouth is the word of God. And the Bible says of the word of God, it says, So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. Of course, you know that God is spirit. God does not have mouth like you as a human being. I hope you know. Are we here? Did you sit on your mouth? God does not have mouth and all of these things. There's some, well, that word will be too big. Let me leave that. I don't want to go into teaching. But where it, it describes giving human qualities or human attributes to God. So, the only reason why God is giving human attributes or qualities in the Bible is to help our understanding as human beings. So if the Bible says, God is speaking now, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It doesn't literally mean that God has mouth like you. God is spirit. Hmm? A spirit hath not flesh and bones. That's what Jesus told them. Luke chapter 24. Am I, am I sounding too strange here? So when God is talking about mouth, the mouth there is the man that is speaking on his behalf. When he says, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It's not the mouth in heaven. It's the one that is speaking. That, that, at that time, that person has become the mouthpiece of God. So everything he says is backed up by the spirit of God because his words have become the word of God. That's why Jesus says, this is the work that you will believe in him whom he has sent. The Bible says that there were many widows in Israel, but to none of them was Elijah sent to save the widow of Zarephath. Now when God has sent a mouthpiece your way, there is a state of heart you must have to receive any and everything. I don't know about you, but I have my man of God, my spiritual father. Oh, by the way, he sends his greetings to us. Amen. He prayed some dangerous prayers on my life today. I was more happy for the prayers than the service. Amen. Ah, some dangerous prayers. It's good to have a father. Amen. Now, every time I have the opportunity to speak with him, he's not just a spiritual father. He's my man of God. When I don't hear God, I can hear from his mouth. So everything he says to me, even his jokes, I take them as a word from God. And if he says something that God didn't say, it will still come to pass in my life. Because God has authorized him on earth as his mouthpiece to me. That means that as I'm here, God may not ask me to say something. I will say it and it will happen. You know why? Because I've been sent. It doesn't concern you whether it is from God or not. You leave me and God later. God understands order and protocol. When he sent Jesus into the world, everything that Jesus did was to reveal the Father. So when God has sent a word into your life, that word comes as a human agent. And so everything that is spoken at that time, if you can catch it and receive it by faith, instantly brings a manifestation. That's why there's a disparity in congregations. You find a certain group of people testifying always why some others are just there in the church. They have grown to become spiritual consultants. All they do is sit down and analyze everything. But hardly would they come out to share a testimony or one or two. Not because God is not alive, but because of the state of heart that they had. Mark chapter 6 verse 5 to 6. Jesus was in Nazareth. The Bible says, and he could do no mighty work amongst them. In verse 5 he says, a prophet is without honor. He's not without honor, except in his own town. Now there's something called the honor of a prophet. And there's something called the reward of a prophet. You need to understand the honor of a prophet to have access to the reward of a prophet. 
the honor of a prophet is receiving an individual as a prophet sent by God as one sent to speak God's words into your life until Jesus comes and even forever God has only one means of creating his intentions on earth his word there's nothing else God will do if God does not speak a word to you there is no way he can do anything in your life even if that word comes as an instruction take oil anoint yourself it was still spoken so God cannot do his handicapped outside of his word even the spirit can move but it takes the word of God to bring precision and definite articulation as to creating what God intends to do did you hear what I just said so the spirit of God can move but it is the word that is released that defines everything that gives life that gives shape it, 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 it arranges your life in accordance to God's will and God's plan and tonight a word has come for somebody here today listen the Lord just said this in my right ear to a family here that the captivity is over Believe what I'm telling you. He said the captivity is over. Yes. Many of us are here tonight because there are certain things happening in your life that there is no scientific or human explanation to it. For some of you, just one aspect of your life. For some of us, we are here because there is a repeated cycle of shame, of pain, of reproach. There is a repeated cycle of failure around you and you can't explain why you have prayed you have fasted you have sown seed you've done everything possible that you know but it still will not leave that's why you are here today so god can break those cycles and undo those patterns when you have engaged spiritual exercise over a particular thing that there is no change then you are dealing with something that takes divine intervention to take out are you hearing what i'm telling you even jesus said these kinds go at not there are some demons that are so stubborn with all your nine vigils they will not go it takes an insisting power it takes insisting and a word of command to take them out of the way A man of God said this, and I, I really agree with him. He said, the devil will not stop until he is stopped. Some of those ugly things that some of us have been facing in our life, brother, sister, whether you believe it or not, I came to tell you tonight, God is not responsible for it. The devil has broken hell against you. And if God does not insist tonight by the power that is in the name of Jesus, that your end or the end of that captivity has come you may leave this service and that cycle continues can i tell you something every time you begin to rise in the kingdom you will discover that it becomes difficult to break through to new dimensions to new levels okay let me talk to some of you who may have experienced it because some of us the way you look at me is like you that you don't experience all these things God just gives you ice cream every morning. He drops it from heaven. Let me talk to those who have gone through one or two battles in life. To get, you know, once, once and again. And they have come headlong with their adversary. I don't know if those people are here. You notice that the higher you rise, it's as if it becomes stronger to break through certain levels. In fact, it almost looks like some miracles may never happen. Any other thing can happen but these kinds. And that's because it, it takes a level of resistance. It takes, you have to insist. There is a level of force that is, that is commensurate enough to counter that opposition that is against you. Paul said, a great and effectual door has been opened unto me. But there are many, not one, not two, not few. There are many adversaries. Just the way it was with Jesus. When he died and went to hell, Satan deployed all the demons on earth back to hell. 
I don't have time to show you scriptures. But there is a place in Isaiah 53, I believe in verse 11 or 12, where it says, He shall see the travail of his soul and he shall be satisfied. The picture was that when Jesus went to hell, he preached to those who were already in hell. That's what the Bible says in 1 Peter 3, 18. And then he was about to take them, you know, in liberty, out of hell, so he could go to heaven and offer his blood as an atonement. Satan said, a lie, you can't leave this place. Because death remained a rule that was against humans. And so all the demons on earth were deployed back to hell. And every one of them ganged up against Jesus. That's the reason why you have that Psalms. Lift up your heads, O ye gate. Does a gate have head? Was he talking about physical gates? No. Lift up your head, O ye gates. Authorities. He brought all the principalities and powers. He said, this man must not rise. Because no man had gone down to hell or gone down to the grave and come back. So there are times when it, it takes a breaking force of the power of God to undo certain things around you. And that's why you are here. There are some meetings I go for. From the resistance I feel in my secret place, I begin to tell that there is somebody who is in dire need of a visitation. And if it doesn't happen in this service, only God knows when it will come. So I, be, I myself, I'm not the one who, that Satan is fighting, who, but I begin to sense the battle from a distance. Those are the kind of meetings where you don't need to study your Bible again. Just close it and enter into prayer. Die there. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Uh -huh. You stay there until there is a victory. And you sense the victory from your spirit. You come out knowing that God is going to visit again and again until there is a mark of his power in the life of that individual. So there is a level you have to insist. And that's why tonight when we pray, I want you to pray with everything that is inside of you. Some of us are being opposed by ancient gates. Some irregular patterns that are, that are manifesting in our families are, 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 are sponsored by spirits and powers that are older than even the families. Some of us is even now that you are hearing that the things that are happening around you are actually patterns that are sponsored by darkness. There are some irregularities you find around you and you know this is not normal. Why does it seem to elude my prayer life? Why does it seem to mock my, the name of God in my life? That's because you are contending with powers that are as old as you can think of. And so if you don't experience the resurrective power of Jesus, the power that was able to break through and subdue the grave and hell and bring a dead body back to life, if you don't experience that power now, some things may escape this year before they happen. Just because God said it doesn't mean it will happen like God said. There's a level of force you must release. There's a level of warfare. There's a, you must insist. The Bible says he shall see the travail of his soul and he shall be satisfied. There are seasons in my life where a prophetic word has come. And I didn't just smile and dance around with it or no. I know the prophecy to dance with. I know the prophecy to sing with. I know the prophecy to war with. No praise and worship. Capital letter tongues. That prophecy, especially the one that is, is, is going to happen around that part of your life that will ensure your lifting and your rising in a way that will mock Satan. For instance, somebody may be here tonight, you are representing your family, and there's something that is about to hit your finances in such a way that you, you, you will become a one-man deliverer. I'm talking about an anointing that catapults you from nowhere into strange levels of wealth. Have you seen that kind of wealth? That one man can become a, he can just alleviate the problems of the entire family. Satan will say, leave everybody, focus on this one. So even now in this service, he's working out situations to distract you so that your word does not come. Some of you are here, you are overdue, you know inside of you, you are overdue for certain levels of breakthrough. What have you not done? You have prayed, you have fasted, you have given, you've done everything. You've seen in your dream, you saw yourself signing the contract. 
then how come you've not heard from them again there's something that needs to be dealt with and can i tell you warfare battles only end when there are literal manifestations of the hand of god elijah prayed until he saw the hand of a man as cloud don't allow the devil mock you for long don't allow the devil ridicule you some of you as i'm talking now the devil is talking in your mind so okay he's just giving a nice sermon let's finish and go but my rent oh my rent is not sermon that will is not sermon that will cure it oh i need money brother and sister peter to, peter told the man at the gate the man at the gate was waiting for arms the first problem with that man was there was something wrong with his faith he didn't have faith to be healed he had faith for money so he had become used to the problem 40 years a cripple sitting at that gate and begging for arms he had adjusted to the problem he had convinced himself that god cannot do anything about this situation the best thing he can do is to earn a living and create a profession from begging and so when peter and john passed by the bible says he looked at them expecting to receive money peter said no let's help this man he says silver and gold i do not have that will only take away hunger from your stomach from a little while he said but such as i have i have something that can bring you out of this condition and give you the power to do something that can feed yourself and others so some of you now the devil is telling your mind ah, well, let him just finish let's pray and go you're even looking at time meanwhile what you need to turn your life around is a word i have seen god turn people's life around through his word in my mouth in such a way that it scares me me it scares me in fact 60 percent of the prophecies that i've released to some of these people and it came to pass it's not like i heard i just knew that there's nothing god to do about this issue because i'm already here i'm sent so is either i say something that will that will, that will that will direct the power of god in a way that it finds expression in the life of that individual or i leave the person the way he or she is some can even shock me to a point where 24 hours 48 hours like that testimony i text her i said read this out to her hearing and in 48 hours she'll be healed hello who does that what if in the place of healing the condition became worse But the Bible says that you believe in him whom he has sent. I know that God is only waiting for a man to insist. God is only waiting for a man of faith. A man that can stand and declare that it's time for this battle to come to an end. A man that can stand and declare that today salvation has come to this household. A man that is ready to receive an anointing that brings deliverance to an entire community, an entire clan some of you you have struggled your way through life to where you are now i want to ask you a question are you going to struggle like this till old age must you struggle to get everything some of us come from families where the moment somebody wants to do something right all hell breaks loose against that person for instance a family where if you get pregnant outside of wedlock there's no problem but the moment you decide no i want to get married first let's do it the right way it's as if the entire spirits in hell have turned against you battles from every corner and you are you are almost losing your faith i bring you good news this night that pattern will be broken yeah. this night this night but i want your faith to be open tonight i want you to believe and when we begin to pray i want you to insist that your time of change has come some of you may have received from god but do you know that that is not much compared to what god has in store for you the bible says he daily loaded us with benefit there is a package you can take today thank god for what he did yesterday but there's something for you today and it has your name written on it and it's not god's fault if you don't receive that which your name has been written on it takes your faith it takes for you to believe if you can be desperate enough like i was in 2014 ah, the way i ran that day 
when they mentioned I took off. I knew I pushed some people here and there. Well, I say sorry in my heart to them now. Sorry to them. I'm sorry. But destiny is serious business. Maybe you don't, maybe because there's no pressure on your life. Some of you are here, you are firstborns. You already know what's, know what's happening in your family. And you are here because it's time for God to undo what the enemy has enacted. Some of you are here and you have people who are depending on you. But now you are almost losing your balance. So God has to do something that will lift you to a point where you can carry that load. Otherwise, depression is about to kill you. So you don't joke with this kind of service if you came like that. Some of you are here. You've been telling yourself, when will I share testimony like this person? You have been admiring other people's testimony. Tonight, if you are desperate, you will carry something here that will make you like a simile. You know what a simile is? They say as busy as a bee, isn't it? Good. That a miracle that God will do in your life will make your life like a simile. That if people want to make a reference, they will have to point to your life. It doesn't take long. It just takes the power of God connecting with your faith. Some of you have all kinds of sicknesses in your body. This is the time for you to be healed. And this is the time for you to be healed and be healed forever. Amen. Are we ready to pray this night? Please stand on your feet. Listen, what makes a miracle service a miracle service is that something happens in your life that you cannot explain from human perspective and then you qualify that experience by giving it a name, miracle. The miracle tonight may not be only healing of bodies that are sick, no. There can be miracle of finances. There can be miracle in your career. There can be miracle in your spiritual life for some of you here. For some of you here, there can be a miracle of deliverance. Some of you are here and you know that there are all kinds of things happening in your life that you don't understand. Secretly and quietly, you are suffering from different kinds of oppressions. It's time for God to bring deliverance to you. For some of you that are here, and I want to say this. The miracle tonight will be a miracle of judgment. Yeah. Let me say it again. Maybe you are not here. You are somewhere else. I said for some of you, the miracle tonight is the miracle of judgment. Yeah. That if a strong man does not die. Are you hearing me? I, I, know, I know. Don't give me that pancake face now. And say, ah, die. What? No, 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 no. Listen. The Bible says, suffer not a witch to live. In fact, some of you are here not knowing that what is happening around you is manipulated and sponsored by witchcraft. And until somebody goes down, there is no way that anybody can see the light of day. So for you tonight, if you are such a one, your miracle tonight will be a miracle of judgment. There's something, listen, there's something called the sword of the Lord's judgment. Huh? You know how a sword is? It's double-edged. It can cut on both sides. I don't know why people are going out up and down. Are they doing the miracle outside? Uh, is the service going on outside? Anyway, if you go out, it's, it's your cup of tea. You go and you miss it. Amen? Just stay and receive from God. You are looking at time. Okay, no problem. A sword cuts on both sides. Listen, we are about to pray. A sword cuts on both sides. Meaning that if God wants to bring judgment in a family, it doesn't look at anybody's face. That sword comes and looks for anyone that is not standing in alignment with God's will for that family. And it brings them down. And it is that judgment that will bring release for some people here. This night we are going to take some prayers and then I'm going to begin to minister to us 
the power of God is going to be released very strong in this place. I'm telling you the truth. Certain people will be set free from all kinds of things. There will be miracles of all kinds in this place here. Even some of you that came not expecting anything, you will live with a miracle. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to hold the hand of your neighbor, just two two. Lift your voice and begin to agree tonight for a testimony. Lift your voice and begin to agree tonight for a testimony. Lift your voice. Agree in faith for a divine touch. Agree for a change. Agree for a turnaround. Agree for an uncommon breakthrough. For he has opened the gates of brass. He has broken the gates of brass. And cut in sunder the brass of iron. This is the night where gates will be broken. This is the night where doors will be opened. He says, set before you an open door, which no man shuts. There must be a change of story. There must be a shift. There must be a turn around. It has to be my night. It has to be my time. It has to be my moment. In Jesus name Hallelujah Let's start tonight by God is going to move in this place very strong. God is going to move in this place very strong. Let's start tonight. You see, I've not even started ministry, no. God is going to move in this place very strong. Please speak your prayer requests. Speak them up. We are going to collect it and pray on it now. I believe that we had the time during the short charge to have written down our prayer requests. 
Please pick it up. Let the ushers collect it. We are going to pray. Just ushers, please help us. Let there be a system of collation. Maybe pass the baskets or maybe just stand at the aisle and collect it. If there's an usher near you, you can just, all of you, maybe if you are sitting on a row, you can give your request one after the other to the last person and then he gives it to the ushers. And then they put it in the basket and bring it. Let's do that quickly in just a minute or two. Let's collect the request. We are going to take our time to pray on them. I believe that this request represents the totality of our need in every area of our life that we will need the touch of God. We are going to take our time to pray on this request. And after that, I'm going to begin to minister to us. The power of God is already strong in this place. You are the mighty warrior, great in battle, Jehovah is your You are the mighty warrior, great in battle, Jehovah. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. Let's collect the prayer requests quickly and bring them to the altar. Jehovah is your name. Mighty one, you are so great. Jehovah is your You are the mighty one. So great. Jehovah. Sata Balahato Vasia Jehovah is your name. Be lifted high, be lifted high. Oh Lord, be lifted. Hey, yes, Lord. My God, I feel the power of God. Believe that I am. 
We are going to pray. Do you know why I'm laughing? Listen. We are going to pray. You know why I'm laughing? Listen. Just listen. Listen. You will pray when you need to pray. You know why I was laughing? Two weeks ago, a man of God was praying for me. And while we were in that prayer session, an angel of the Lord appeared. And the word that came was that this angel has been assigned to me. The angel was holding something like a file and a pen and the word was that anytime I speak the angel will write it down and it's as good as done now listen I saw the angel here now do you believe me when I say that every request that is in this basket is there anybody that did not if you know you don't have a request that every request in this basket will receive speedy answers let me hear your amen louder listen stretch your right hand towards this place i want you to begin to decree and declare that everything that looks like an egyptian standing before your life your family that is captured in this request today you shall see them no more lift your voice and pray lift your oh my god there is fire in this place there's such a strong wind of the presence of god here let every request be converted to an answer Embrakete bakosa prata, man prata ke pate katia, je parato kosita, jam prate embrakes ke peto kaba, embrakes ke pata kalam prata, embrakete kobosuta. Isa paria latala masika. Jesus. Is the sweetest name I know. Come on, pray. Come on, decree. Declare. An end to captivity. Let this battle come to an end. Let every long awaited answer be released. Let this request be converted to testimonies by the hand of the Lord, by the hand of the Lord, by the hand of God. It's therefore it shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer, and while they yet speak it, I will hear them. Yes. El Shasho Prata Kawe Daka. Hey! In Jesus mighty name we pray we are still praying I will come back later to declare on the prayer points we are still praying we are still praying I want you to say after me in the name of Jesus today I confront by the power of God every ugly situation around my life 
that has refused to go that has refused to give way be uprooted by the power of God in the name of Jesus open your mouth and pray open your mouth and call upon Jesus it shall come to pass that you see that shall come upon the name of the Lord shall be delivered every ugly situation every situation of delay every situation of retrogression every onslaught from the kingdom of darkness every attack from hell every cycle of the enemy everything that has refused to let you go tonight, tonight by the power of God by the power of God by the power of God In Jesus Mighty name we pray I led us to pray this last week But we are still praying it again Say after me in the name of Jesus Every satanic pattern now for those of you who were not around last week a pattern is a tailor-made event that happens in sequence in other words it is like it happens and happens again it is recurrent the same thing either it happens at a particular time of the year or at a particular time of life it's called a pattern some of you here there are some ugly situations around your families or your life that has become a pattern in fact the lord said i should just announce now that he's canceling debt he's canceling debts i don't know which family but he's canceling debts are you ready to pray say after me in the name of jesus i confront satanic patterns satanic cycles around my life around my family be destroyed tonight in the name of jesus open your mouth and pray open your mouth and pray Patterns of failure Patterns of crisis Patterns of delay Patterns of mere success Patterns of poverty Of lack It's time for you to go It's time for you to go Be destroyed, be destroyed Be destroyed, be destroyed Be destroyed By fire By fire By fire in Jesus name we pray three more prayers are we tired of praying I want you to believe that this is the last time you are praying these prayers are you hearing what I'm telling you the Lord is saying I should ask us to pray against cycles of attacks cycles of attacks I hope you understand what that means all right attacks of the enemy that come in cycles in other words it is repeated 
it has a cycle of time it returns back for some of us there's a cycle of death in our family after every social number of years somebody dies every year one person must go at a particular time of the year some of us cycles of all kinds of affliction it comes to an end this night Amen. lift your right hand up to heaven we are going to pray it like this say in the name of jesus, name of jesus. every cycle of attack, every cycle of attack. Around, my life, around my life around my family around my, family, around my, finances, around my finances around my calling around my ministry around all that concerns me by the power of God be destroyed forever now listen listen God is going to confront the attack and then the spirit that is behind it that sponsors it either it is a spirit or a human being they are going down this night Open your mouth and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Every cycle. I want you to insist. Every cycle of attack. Every cycle of satanic onslaughts. Attacks of darkness. Spirits that will not let you rest. It's time to go. It's time to go. It's scatter. Be arrested. It's scatter. Be arrested. 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 Be Please lift your hands. I want to declare. We are still praying, but I want to declare. I want to lift leg. Just lift your hands. Father, I decree and declare in this place right now. Lord, thank you for releasing that angel. So that every word that is declared tonight is as good as done. Everyone here that has experienced cycles of attacks, wherever it is sponsored from, I bring judgment to its source. I bring judgment to source. Let the sun baro kambatakayaka. 
Let the sword of the Lord's judgment visit the root of those attacks. And in the name of Jesus, be free. Be free. Be free. Be free. Be free. We are still praying. We are still praying. Listen to me. This week I was praying. Huh? I don't know if there's any week I've prayed in my life like this week. Listen, we are going to pray. This prayer point came from a vision I had. Listen, listen, just listen. We are going to pray. And by the way, as we pray this prayer, the hand of God will visit. There are some sisters here that the hand of God will come upon. Don't be ashamed. Some of you, you need deliverance to break into certain places that God wants for you. As we pray this prayer, deliverances will begin to happen around this place. I was praying and I had a vision. And in the vision, I saw the face of somebody here. I won't mention your name. I saw the face of the person. And then all of a sudden, the face of the person changed into something different. Like an older version of the person's face. And the Lord told me, deal with the spirit of impersonation. I don't know what that one is. So listen, this is what it is. That every time God wants to favor you or lift you, and he will do it through men. The people that are responsible for that level of breakthrough or favor that you should encounter. All of a sudden, unknown to you, when they see you, your face does not look like your real face. They are rather seeing another face. So there is a spirit unknown to you that is making your face appear either older or appearing like something else or someone else they don't want to see. That's the reason why somebody who told you, come may not want to call you again or may won't, won't want to do anything with you as a matter of fact there was a lady i met and I, I had to pray with recently very wonderful lady she has been in the states for a while and this this is this is she had this experience she entered a place with someone like with her who was her cousin she said this to me when she was in the united states they went somewhere with her cousin and when they got to the place the people were asking the cousin is that your mother and she and the cousin were the same age hence you see why some ladies don't get married so unknown to you you pancake you do all the makeups but unknown to you they are not seeing your face as you think they are seeing it there's a spirit that needs to be dealt with i hope you believe me this night i'm not just talking to ladies alone i'm talking to men there are some of you here it is when it is time to sign something that will finally settle that issue that's when all kinds of things begin to happen around you. There's a spirit of impersonation we must confront this night. I hope you are ready to pray. Or oh, are you embarrassed? Are you ready to pray? So that your destiny helpers will see your face alone. And will favor you. Your amen is weak. Say after me, powers of impersonation. An exchange of my identity. With the, purpose with the purpose of separating me, of separating me from my destiny help us, destiny help us. Be, arrested. be arrested help be arrested be, arrested. be destroyed, be destroyed. By, fire. by fire in the name of jesus open your mouth and pray just help them the power of god is coming on some individuals now deliverance is going to happen now let those powers be arrested powers of impersonation powers that exchange your identity be arrested be arrested be arrested by fire be arrested by fire Sadina, 
Yale. Hey. He arrested. He arrested. From the rising over to the setting. No. Be arrested, be arrested. In Jesus name, lift your hands. I want to decree again. We still have one more prayer, but I want to decree. I want to minister to some people now. The power of God is here. Lift your hands. Father, anyone here whose identity has been exchanged by the realm of the Spirit, so that those that should help you, your destiny help us, see you as somebody else by the fire that comes from the throne of heaven in the name of Jesus Christ. I arrest those powers now. I arrest those powers now. I arrest those powers now. Any fail, any mask that has been placed on your face in the spirit realm so that people don't see who you really are physically. By the fire of God, I command that veil to be destroyed. I command that mask to be burnt off your face now. Let that veil be consumed now. Be consumed now at Ambarakata. Be consumed now. There are some people that are beginning to feel fire on their face. That veil is being destroyed now. It's been destroyed by fire, by fire, by fire, by fire, by fire, by fire. I set it in place. I set it in place. Every false identity that you have been given by the powers of darkness, I set it in place now. I set it in place now. Just help them. Just help them, please. And I pray in the name of Jesus. As a result of this manipulation, any destiny helper that has left your life, some of them may be marital partners, you know, life partners. Some of them may be business partners. Some of them are those who will give you a record deal. Some of them are those who are supposed to give you a job or something. Anyone that has left your life because of this manipulation, by the power of prophecy, I bring them back into your life. I send them back into your life. I send them back into your life. All the ladies, could you please put your right hand Use your, okay, use your index finger. The index finger of your right hand. Use it to touch where your belly button is. Your belly button, your navel. That's at the center of your abdomen. Just use, just touch that place. I'm about to pray now. Oh, I see the fire of God. I see it like waves going across this hall now. Father, from the left to the right. Anyone whose destiny has been stolen or sabotaged. Anyone that has been given something else, your glory has been exchanged in the name Marando Kapatakaida Kaba Zembra Katabala Katoa Ilamo Katambra Kotaba. I release the fire of God right now and I destroy every link, every connection that you have with the powers of darkness. I destroy every connection with witchcraft. I destroy every connection with your father's house with your mother's house and I declare your destiny is recovered now 
Your destinies recovered now. Your destinies recovered now. Keep your hands there. That's it. Just keep your hands there. I see a separation going on. I see a separation going on. There are five people right now. I don't know what connection you have had with the marine kingdom illegally. That there are marine spirits that have forced their way into your life. Put your hand there. Put your hand there. Right now I command those covenants to be destroyed. Oh, by fire, let it be destroyed. Let it be separated now. Let it be separated now. Who is like him? Lion and the lamb seated on the throne. Just lift your hands everywhere. Mountains bow down and the oceans roll to the Lord of hosts. Just lift your hands. I don't know why I keep listen, just listen to me. I keep seeing the sea. I keep seeing the sea, like the ocean. I'm praying again in the name of Jesus. Every illegal covenant with marine powers, whether it was entered into without your knowing, and now they come to oppress you, they come to molest you, they have a share and a stake in your life, and they have tied your destiny and refused to let you go. By the power of the everlasting covenant, I declare a divine separation now. I declare total separation now. Be separated now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen to me. I'm seeing boxes boxes and they are tied with chains and the lord is opening my eyes to see one of the boxes opening and i see gold i see all kinds of gold and currencies inside any family here that your wealth has been stolen by the kingdom of darkness right now by the right hand of god's power i invade the warehouse of the enemy i invade the banks of the enemy and I declare, let it be retrieved and released into your life. I declare total restoration now. Restoration now. Restoration now. Every form of marital delay that anyone here is experiencing don't be ashamed just lift your hands it's time for your liberty and your freedom it's time for you to get married you are willing to settle down but there is a delay barando katabakai supratom barata katala ambarikos kapataka ilekea i stand by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic and in the name of jesus let those powers be arrested let those powers be arrested let those powers be arrested. And I say to you today, your marital settlement is released now. It is released now. It is released now. Now, bring those two ladies that will shout very loud under the power of God. I heard the shout concurrently, one after another. I'm declaring it again. It is released now. That's a shout of deliverance. It is released now. Just bring them. I want to put my hands on them. It's a shout of deliverance. That's what the Lord is saying is a shout of deliverance and i see god bringing people out of a pit out of the pit of destruction out of the pit of delay i declare again you are coming out now 
in the name of jesus christ i think it's time to pray for the sick now lord we give you praise wave your hands and give the lord praise the champion of the host above and the captain of my destiny just softly softly in you alone i make my boast you reign alone as lord If you are sick, it's time for your healing. Lord, we thank you for deliverance. Lord, we thank you for deliverance. Okay, the hand of God will come on those two people now. In less than 10 seconds. And I said that it's a shout of deliverance. When that happens, bring them. I just want to put my hands on them and then we'll pray for the sick. There's a strong healing anointing in, in this place. In fact, afflictions are already being burnt off right now. Afflictions are already being burnt off right now. Just bring them. I want to put my hands on them. An end has come to captivity in that family. If you are sick, please put your hand where the sickness is. If you are standing in for a loved one just lift your right hand and that we are going to agree in faith tonight for their instant healing i mean instant healing not after the service instant healing there will be instant healings right now Malida Bahaskabra Handalava. Bring her for me. Bring her. There's one more person. An end has come to captivity in this family. In the name of Jesus. If you are sick, put your right hand where, where the sickness is. And if you are standing in for a loved one who is not here, just lift your right hand up. We are going to pray very quickly. I'm not going to shout in this prayer. I'm going to pray very simple. And God is going to heal people. God is going to heal people. Right now. Just leave her. Leave her there. Leave her there. Let me declare over her. Every season of delay over that family and that life is over today. And Satan, I command you, loose your hands from their lives now. In the name of Jesus. I'm going to pray. Are we ready? How many of you believe God for healing? I will, play the, I will pray the most simple prayer I've ever prayed for healing. And you are going to be healed. In fact, some of you are already healed now. Now. Now, already, before I prayed. You are already healed. Start checking yourself. You are already healed now. Let me pray. father thank you because you have given us the name that is above other names therefore we stand by the authority that we have in that name it is declared in your word that he himself took our infirmities and bore our sicknesses if he took it then there's no need for us to still carry it therefore in the name of jesus christ I command the spirit of affliction to go this moment. I arrest the spirit of infirmity right now. And I decree over your bodies, be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. The Bible says, and great multitudes followed him, and he healed them all. I declare over everyone that is sick here or in affliction or pains, be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
I cause high blood pressure forever. Every history of high blood pressure in your family, it dies now. There's a young lady, you will not imagine that I'm saying this. There's a young lady, you are young. And God is healing you of high blood pressure now. Right now. God is healing you of high blood pressure. In fact, one of the manifestations, one of the signs that you usually have is that sometimes your chest can become heavy. Or your, your heart will begin to pant. That's one of the signs that you have. You are young. You are a young lady. God is healing you right now. All sides healed right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every condition with the bones. Every condition with the bones. Is declared healed now. In the name of Jesus. Every condition with your brain. By the right hand of God's power. I declare divine healing now. I declare healing right now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I cause the spirit of asthma to go now that's it somebody is being healed of asthma right now you are being healed of asthma right now there's somebody here you are standing in for somebody and this person you are standing in for is a man and I see him lying down on a bed like looks like an hospi a hospital bed. In the name of Jesus, I command him to be off his feet now. I say to that man, rise up on your feet and walk. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every kind of headaches are healed right now. In the name of Jesus name. In the name of Jesus. Chronic back pain chronic back pain is healed right now and by extension waist pain is healed right now every kind of pain is healed now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ there's somebody with pain on your joints oh, more like weaknesses more like weakness on your joints more like weakness not really like pain but more like weakness on your joints the Lord is healing you right now Amen. the hand of the Lord is touching you right now Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. there's someone I'm seeing you are dark in complexion and I'm seeing a problem with your throat the Lord is touching you right now and healing you. Yeah. There's someone else I'm seeing. It looks like uh, um, this goiter. It looks like it's about to appear. You are feeling the symptoms. Like it's about to rise. You are beginning to feel heaviness around your throat. I declare it is terminated. Yeah. And your, your, your thyroid, your, your whatever that deficiency is, iodine deficiency is restored in the name of Jesus. Yeah. There's somebody you usually have uncommon weaknesses around your fingers. Uncommon weakness. Your, finger will be, your fingers will begin to feel weak. Sometimes you can't even carry something or touch something. In the name of Jesus, I declare you healed. I declare you healed. God is healing somebody's ankle right now. Your ankle. Your ankle way up to your knees. Your ankle way up to your knees is healed now is healed now Amen. there's someone else please forgive me for saying this but i see you discharging blood blood just coming out of your body i don't know what the issue is but blood is coming out blood you've been having discharge of blood again and again but the lord is healing you right now Amen. and that the pain that comes with it stops now Amen. in the name of jesus Hemorrhoid is being healed right now. Amen. Hemorrhoid is what the common man calls pile. It's being healed right now. Amen. I cause sugar diabetes right now. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I declare your glucose, rest, your glucose level is restored. Amen. Your glucose level becomes normal. Amen. 
in the name of Jesus. God is also healing cataract. I just heard the word cataract. I think that is cataract where it looks like something like a cloud is forming in your eyes. Like right? Is that cataract? Looks like something misty is appearing in your eyes. God is healing you right now. In fact, the person I'm talking to, you are feeling something around your eyes, particularly your right eye. You are feeling something right now. You are feeling a sensation on your eyes right now. Cataract is gone forever. And in the name of Jesus, every eye condition is healed right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we give you the praise. I take pleasure in worshiping. I take pleasure in worshiping. I take pleasure in worshiping you, Lord. I curse the spirit of insanity now. The spirit of insanity departs now. And I declare that your mind is restored now. I don't know to whom that word is. I declare mental restoration now. In the name of Jesus Christ. And now I speak over your families. Every history of affliction. Every history of ailment, of sickness. Every particular disease that is a recurrence in your family. Right now the Lord heals you and makes you whole. It goes never to return again. In the name of Jesus Christ. If you believe that you've been healed, shout a bigger amen. Can we clap our hands and give Jesus praise? There is power, power, wonder. Now just hold on. Listen. Now that I've prayed, we have prayed. I told you, remember I talked to you about faith. Alright? Check yourself now. Some of you who are standing for people, I dare you take your phone now. Call them. One minute, two minutes. And get a shocking testimony that should be shared here. Listen carefully. Listen. Once you notice that you are healed, please, I want you to rush to the front quickly. The Lord told me something. I want you to listen to this. Listen. One of the reasons why certain afflictions return back even after they are healed is because you don't come to testify. It is when you testify that your testimony is sealed and your healing is permanent. Remember the story of the ten lepers. Jesus told them, go show yourself to the priest. And as they were going, they were healed. And one came back. What did Jesus say to that one when he gave thanks? Jesus said, your faith has made you whole. It's one thing to be healed. It's another thing to be whole. Some of you are here. God has healed you before in other services. But you are ashamed to take testimonies. That's why it returned back. Forget about your shyness. And come and share the testimony. The healing is yours. But the testimony belongs to God. Let the devil be disgraced in this place. And let the name of God be glorified. Those of you that stood in for people, call them. Get the report and bring it to us. And if you have the report or you have been healed, please rush to the front. Let's have two lines. Alright? Let's have two lines. Let's have two lines. Yes. Uh, Pastor Henry and uh, let Pastor Moses help me, help me as well. Two lines. Maybe one this way, the other one that way. Just check yourself. Let's get the testimonies quickly and then the final prayer and we are done tonight. There is power, power, wonder-walking power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, there is power, power, Please, if God has healed you, march to the front quickly and let's take your testimony. Can we celebrate God for them as they come? Can we celebrate God with a big hand of praise as they come? I can't hear you clapping to give God praise for what He has done. In the blood of the Lamb, there 
there is power. Power on the walking in God in the precious blood. There is power, there is power on the walking Those of you that need to call your relatives at home. Or those who you stood in for, call them now. Take your phone, call them. Get the testimony and bring it for us. Working power in the prayer. Oh, one more time, there is power. One more time. In the blood of the land, there is power, power, oh, wonder. In the blood Let's just worship him. I read it There is no one like him. I read it I have a We give you all the praise. Oh, Lord. I'm going to call to pray for Sarah. If your name is Sarah, I would like to pray for you. If your name is Sarah. Actually, there's somebody I'm looking for, but I'm hearing the word Sarah. You are Sarah? Give Jesus praise. Who is Jackson? Jackson. 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 I'm hearing the name Jackson. Jackson. Don't worry, I'll pray for all of you, but there's one person I'm looking for. Jackson. I'm hearing that name, Jackson. There's someone here, and there's someone around you with that name. Jackson. Jackson. I want to pray. Yes, sir. Let, let's hear a testimony, please. Amen. This Amen. Is Sister Anda, she has yes, been sir. having headache, serious, severe headache for the past one week. One week. When she came here and the word was declared, she got a healing instantaneously. Headaches. Can we give Jesus praise? Now, don't you commonize any miracle. Hallelujah. It is perfected in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, sir. Brother Danjuma has been having weakness in his fingers yes. and on his hand. Oh, weakness. Yes. You heard that word? Yes. Weakness with the finger. Which yes. one? Which of the hands? Your left hand. Yes. All the fingers? 
Okay. Part of it. Okay, part of it. Some of the fingers. Yes. For how long? Huh? Since the beginning of this year. Since the beginning of this year. Yes. And tonight. Healed by the power of God. And secondly, he has had issues with comprehension when he reads or when he studies. And God that has been since December. But as the word of God came forth, God has touched God you. God has too. touched him. You see, when God heals, he heals completely. Amen. Now listen. Don't commonize a miracle. If somebody is healed of headache, listen carefully. Don't wait till you have headaches before you know how painful it can be. Are, are we here? So whatever the testimony of, of, of the condition is, I want you to celebrate God as though it happened to you and you have been healed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let's, let, let me hear one from your end, Pastor Henry, and then I will attend to these people here. Please help us with the mic. Yes, sir. Yes, go ahead. Yes, sir. This is Bro Ifai. All right. Healed of shoulder and back pain that lasted for about two to three years. Yes, it's true. He has complained. You have complained to me about that before. The back, the back pain. You've complained about it. I think even recently you told me or something like that. Yes, sir. And you're healed. How do you know you are healed? Do what you couldn't do before. And if you did it, will you feel the pain? And now, is there pain? Can we give Jesus praise? Listen. Now, you see, God is healing workers. <laughs> that means that the workers were open tonight to receive. Can we celebrate the Lord one more time? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is Bro Joshua Andrew. Yes. This afternoon, as he was about stepping out of the car, he experienced a very sharp pain, sharp waist pain. Sharp pain. Yes, sir. Wow. Around the waist region. So as soon as you declare, he received his waist pain. Yes, sir. Instantly. Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Sir. You see how your word can come with exactitude. The Bible says even the hairs on our head are numbered. I didn't know he had any pain like that. God knew somebody was suffering of that pain and the word went to heal him. Can we give Jesus a big hand of praise? Amen. Father, we declare it perfect. And you will walk in divine health. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's an open door coming for you, sir. There's an open door coming for you. Yes, sir. There's something already... Wait, 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 wait. There's something already happening around your job, around you, like an opportunity is about to open up. Yes, sir, yes, sir. And this is going to be something that is very big. Amen. I see. Now, God said to tell you, He's releasing it to you. Amen. So that those three projects that you have in your mind will come to pass one after another Amen. this year. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Prophecy for one is for all. So if you tap into it, you can shout a better amen. Yeah. It is done. God bless you, sir. I don't know. I just heard it. I just heard three projects. I don't know what it is. God is doing something here. Give Jesus a big hand of praise. Yeah. Hallelujah. There's a woman here right now. As you are seated now, God is also touching you around your waist area towards your back there are two things you experience there you are a woman notice the use of words you are a woman you've been having pains and weakness around your waist actually the problem which has not been diagnosed let me tell you the problem is that something is wrong with one of your vertebras something is wrong with one of your vertebras but right now, as I'm speaking right now, the hand of God is on you and you can feel something around that area. Something is going on. There's a readjustment. There's a miracle going on. And God is healing you forever. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Please let that person, let's get that person's testimony. I just saw that person right now. As I'm talking, you are feeling a sensation now there. God is touching you and is correcting that issue with your vertebra right now in the name of jesus christ all of you are serious yes, I, 
They are all Sarahs. This, this has Jackson as her nephew. Jackson is your nephew. Is Jackson dark in complexion? Yes, sir. I'm seeing somebody. We need to pray for Jackson. Yes, sir. I'm seeing somebody with a hairstyle that's almost like what's this hairstyle? Is it punk? That's the that's all right. Can we stretch our hands towards that? We need to pray for Jackson for preservation of life. All right, we need to pray for preservation. And while God is preserving his life, the word of the Lord for his family is that the season of shame, lack, and reproach is over. That's the word for that family. Stretch your hands towards her, begin to pray for Jackson right now preservation from all kinds of evil and that jackson will draw closer to the lord we come against bad company around his life and we declare that every season of reproach of shame and of lack in his family is over in jesus mighty name we pray it is done my dear take that word to him Take that word to him. It is over. Can we give Jesus a big hand of praise? Let me pray for all of you. All of you, Sarah. This lady, can you put your hand on your womb? Can I pray for you? Look at me. Can I pray for you? I see God operating you and bringing something out from your stomach. In the name of Jesus, every implant of the enemy by the power of God right now, let it be uprooted. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Help her. It is uprooted. It is uprooted. It is uprooted. It is uprooted. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I speak a blessing over Sarah. All of them here, I ask that your hand will rest upon them mightily. Let it be a new season for them. In the name of Jesus. Touch this lady. Is your name Sarah? Put your right hand on your head. Say after me, I am the head. head. And not the tail. tail. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Now Father, I declare supernatural intelligence. In Jesus name. All of you can go. Leave this too. Just stand. Let me minister to them. Can you come step forward, please? God bless you all. Celebrate God for them. They, no, this lady. This lady. Okay, she's among. Okay, let's take. I need to talk to you. Let's. Can I pray for you, my dear? Are you married? Not yet. Listen to me. God is saying to tell you that the pattern is broken. Did you hear what I said? That the pattern is broken. And there's a cycle of delay that God is bringing an end to. Look at me. I don't know you. I have not seen you before. But as I'm looking at you, I'm seeing one, two other ladies standing behind you. God is giving me a word for you and your siblings. I don't know how many siblings you have. But I saw at least two other ladies standing behind you. Huh? Said what? You have two sisters. But they are married. Uh, married. Alright. It's not guessing. Let me tell you the truth. You, You have to be seeing it. Okay? Now, Father, in the name of Jesus, we bring an end to delay. And everything that has tied your productivity and has tied your progress with your hand, we arrest it right now. In the name of Jesus. And the Lord said, it is time for you to experience financial overflow. Receive that grace right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Who is Tabitha? Tabitha, Tabitha, Tabitha. Tabitha. Okay, specifically, I'm talking to someone. You have a friend called Tabitha. You have a friend who is very close to you called Tabitha. Tabitha. Is it Tabitha or Ta? Ta? 
Talita, Tabita, something like that. Need to pray for you. Yes, sir. Let me hear you. Let me hear you, sir. Let's hear with her. Let, we'll take your testimony. I'll pray for you. This night is your night. Did you hear what I said? She's not even excited at all. I said, This night is your night. If I start and I don't finish, we'll close the service and I'll, I'll, I'll see you. All right? This one has Tabitha as her youngest sister, and they all have Tabitha as friends. As friend. Okay. Father, we pray for all their Tabitha's. <laughs> Speak in tongues for two minutes. I want to get the exact person. Kayo kamanda ya kanda bukwa yiku fayiki keyo kumurokalas. My God, my God, my God. Hey, anana mashanda. Lei nana sana baradan zalana. In the glory and the power, I see miracles, signs and wonders. In the glory and the power, I see miracles. Signs and wonders. Listen. God is showing me a picture. Ah, oh God. It's not your own I'm talking about, but I will talk to you about your own. Okay? This is just a question. The Tabitha you are talking about, is she married? Yes, sir. She's married. Yes, sir. I'll talk to you about that. One. But that's not the Tabitha I'm looking at. Yes, sir. Okay? Hmm. That's not the person I'm looking for. But I just saw a lady standing by your side. Married. And God said, talk to that lady. That's the Tabitha now. That is with you, right? Yes. Don't worry, I'll, I'll give you her description. Okay? Sometimes if you need to, if, when we give descriptions like this, you can even go take your phone, go outside and call the person. Even to description of hairstyle. Because God cannot be wrong. Okay? Okay, the Tabitha I want to pray for eh, has, and God is using you as a point of contact now, is braided, has braided hair like attachment. Braided hair. Do you know what braided hair is? Okay. Or you don't know what the person's hairstyle is? Now. Okay, let's look for who we are talking about. This person is light skin in complexion. Has a sharp jaw. Huh? Sharp jaw. That means the face is a bit slim. And the person is somehow slim. The person is somehow slim. Light skin in complexion. With a little like spots. A little bit of spots on the person's face. Who is that? Don't just stand there. Huh? Are you sure? Yes, sir. You are sure. Yes. And you just stood there but and you're looking not at. She's complexion. She's dark in complexion. She's dark in complexion. Mine is fair. She's fair and she has pimples. <laughs> let's let's go to another person. They are not. They just stood there and they are looking at me. Okay, I need to pray for your this Tabitha. God is doing something around her marriage. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. Do you know her very well? Yes. She's my friend and she's my sister Elon. God is bringing peace Amen. in her marriage, first of all. Amen. But then I see God healing her. Okay, listen. That they will not say that she has fibroid in her, Amen. In her womb. Amen. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes. Number three, that she. I am a raconda secreto. Does she have a son? No, sir. She has daughters. She has daughters. Yes, sir. Oh, very good. Because God is about to give her a son. Amen. Now let's bring the puzzle together. Remember, I spoke about five brothers first. Yes, sir. 
Yes, Isn't sir. it? Yes, sir. It is when a woman is about to conceive or within the period of conception that you begin to have interjections of those problems. God is showing me a vision. God is going to give her a son. Amen. All right? But we cancel fibroid. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, sir. We don't have time. If not, I would have told you to go out I would have, and call her. I would have asked you, describe a place in her body where she feels pain. So you can identify. We don't have that time. But tell her, number one, God is bringing peace. Amen. Her home. Amen. And number two, God is canceling fibroid. Amen. And in the name of Jesus, we release the cry of a son to that family. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Come, let me pray for your own. Now the rest of you, Father, I pray, whoever Tabitha is to all of them, I pray that your right hand of power will come upon those ladies. And I pray for a change and a turn around in their destiny. In the name of Jesus. This is your friend. You can go to your seats now, all of you. This is your friend. Where is she? What does she do? She's in Federal University. She's in Federal University. In Taraba State. Who is she to you? Is she just a friend? Our last one. She's your sister. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. Father, we thank you. I'll tell you two things about her. Is she very serious with God? Okay, I'll tell you two things about her. Please stretch your hands towards her. We need to pray. Listen, look at me. We need to pray for Tabitha's life to be preserved. Amen. Because this lady, I see this microphone that I'm holding. I see it going around her face, her head like that. All right? Yes. But God said, it's not only singing, she will also preach. Amen. I saw in a vision, I saw her standing and I saw this microphone that I'm holding going around her head. And I don't preach alone, I sing. That's the reason why I'm seeing my mic. Okay, can I teach as I prophesy too? I saw my own mic. This is my mic that I'm holding going around her head. That means that there is something about the calling of that lady that is in similitude with me. And God said, not only singing, she will preach. Amen. And she will be, no, listen, there's a fire of God that will come on her as she's about to leave campus. Mm. And they will begin to call her prophetess. Amen. Because this is someone that has had gifts in, in the area of dreams, yes, even from small. Yes, sir. Even from when she was small. When she was little, there are things she will say, and people look at her and say, ah, this small girl is saying something that is bigger than her age. There is a calling on her life. But I see the enemy trying to intercept and bring destruction before her final year. And that's why as your hands are stretched towards her, we declare in the name of Jesus that every ayana kombarata kazika palara diaso, every arrow of the enemy against Tabitha, we nullify it now. I said we nullify it now. In the name of Jesus. I want you all to repeat after me. I want you to say this after me. I, will, I shall not die. But I will live to fulfill my calling. My purpose. And my destiny. My assignment. I will complete. In the name of Jesus. Death has no power over me in the name of jesus and father we release it upon tabitha and we declare that she is preserved in the name of jesus christ and even around her school fees i see god doing a miracle in the name of jesus please celebrate god for that yes sir you know see if i come down from this place now if I come down, if my feet touch the ground now, I'll start prophesying one by one. But there's no time. How many of you were in breakfast prayer initiative? The last one, January. 
you saw what happened there that's the grace that is here now so do your best to ensure i don't come down <laughs> ah, my father my father wave your hands and give god praise lord we thank you for a release of your glory in our lives in the name of jesus yes sir let's take the testimonies quickly so we can close yes sir yes sir this is daughter Mele, healed of back pain that lasted for three years back pain for three years yes. and cataract and cataract and so throat. which eye sir it was i said the right eye right yes sir can we give jesus a big hand of praise Waist, is it waist pain or back pain? Back pain. Back pain, cataract. Yeah, I can even see his eyes, his right eyes dilated, kind of. Please come, sir, so we can speak a word of perfection over it. Stretch your hands towards him. All of us are prophets today. Be, what was wrong with your sight, sir, before now? Um, some years back. Yes, sir. My eyes, I used to have a red eyes pain. So I I used to see that uh, people used to put sugar solution for osmo to osmose the red blood. Redness, yes. So I used to put the blood when I dissolve it in water. So yes. Did it affect one, your sight? Did it affect one day I took excess of the sugar. Okay. So it affected two eyes. This one yeah. cleared okay. and this one failed to clear. Okay. Since 2008. Since 2008. And you couldn't see properly with the eyes? It's just like a shadow, cloudy. Cloudy. You see things like in clouds. Like That's cataract. Yes. Since 2008. Like but right now. Right now it's clear. You can see clear. <laughs> Come on, you can do better than that. Don't get too used to miracles. Father, in the name of Jesus, we declare perfection. Complete and total healing. In Jesus' mighty name. It is done, sir. And God healed you of sore throat too. God bless you. Can we give Jesus praise? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is Rose Francis. Healed of stomach pain, headache, and eye ache. Can we give the Lord a big praise? Stomach pain, headache, and eye ache. Eye. Yes. Sir. Your eyes were paining you too. Yes, sir. <laughs> that is serious. And how do you feel now? Very okay. Because when I came here, my eyes were heavy and I was having serious headache. Yes. I was, my eyes were just heavy. I couldn't. But sit now down. they are light. It's very okay. Give Jesus because praise. It is perfected in Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. Yes. Next, I'm yes, coming sir. to your this pastor. This is the more healed of fever, headache that lasted for four days. Oh, glory to God for four days made whole by the power of god yes sir pastor moses please let me hear you sister sarah has been having waist pain since yesterday okay but at the pronouncement of the word the lord touched her and she's completely healed Healed in the name of jesus Amen. can we give the lord praise i think the ladies should clap better Thank you, Jesus. except you don't do work at home amen brothers any lady beside you that is not clapping for this miracle I question that they walk at home. I'm not sure they used to walk at home. <laughs> eh? You understand what I mean, ba? Uh -huh. And now you are healed. Come, let me pray for you. Yes, the next person, please. Brother Musa has been yes. having burning sensation in his legs for two years. For he has two had two years. More than two years. He has had several medical checkups, ran medical tests severally. The, the doctor couldn't diagnose what was wrong with him. But at the instance of the word, during the ministration, the Lord touched him. For He's two years. More than two years. More than two years. Burning sensation. Your legs are just on fire. This one is not anointing. It can't be anointing. No. Every day for two years. Uh -uh. Uh, is, is he only a place that there are demons from? Now, did you, what did you feel when the prayers was going on? I, I actually felt as if something was being drained out of my Drained life. out of... Yeah. You see, some things are demonic. <laughs> Jesus is the sweetest name I know. 
He's always just the same. I praise His holy name. That is the reason why I love you so. Jesus is the sweetest name. It is over forever. In the name of Jesus. God bless you, sir. In Jesus' name. Can we give the Lord praise? Wow. I think it's time for us to close. Okay, let me hear you, sir. Yes, sir. This is Sister Mary Gabriel. So, she, her dad has been suffering from kid, chronic kidney disease. Yes. Evidenced by inflamed and pain around the region. Yes. So, while the prayer That means was, that place is swollen. Yes, sir. And there is pain there. There is pain. That is so serious kidney disease. So, while the prayer was disease. going on, yes. you said people should stand in for their loved ones. Mm. Uh, have you seen so, uh, so much challenge? So, after the prayer, she now went and called her dad. The dad received instant healing. The place was no longer burning, and they the swelling. Yes, sir. That's wow. The place is clean. No, no, you can do better than that. Somebody shout, Jesus! Come, my dear. <laughs> she's, she's, she's getting emotional now. Where was he? During the prayer, was he lying down? I did not ask sir. Okay. Yes. But you stood did you call him to tell him you were going to stand in for him or you just stood in by faith? I stood by faith. So when I read out, I called him and said, We are in the prayer ground. I stood for him and I stood with faith and prayed that we cannot spend money in the hospital again. Because my mom was sick for good four years and with and she suffered from um, cancer. Her blood breast, and that was how she passed on. So I said, We have suffered in the past, and it can never be this. The Bible says, Affliction shall not rise the second time. Amen. Hold my hand. Let's pray for your father. Lord, we use as a point of contact, and we declare that he is perfected by grace Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. And the devil of cancer leaves this family alone Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Look at me, my dear. Do you know that God is going to use you? By faith. By faith. Now I'm telling you by sight. Come closer. No, no, just look at me. There's an anointing on your life. Okay? Listen to me. I'm going to release a grace on you now. I want you to stay in the place of prayer. There is a healing grace in your life and there is a rugged prophetic anointing. Look at me. Just keep looking at me. Just keep looking at me. Father, release it to her now. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will never be the same again. They will call you a mighty one. In Jesus' name. Strong atmosphere of the presence of God. Yes, sir. Let's finish that so we can pray. Sister Grace is the mother to the person you asked to put her hand on her head and say, Oh, okay. Amen. Oh, that, that was your Sarah, child. Yes. Okay. And her prayer request for today was excellence that she wants to be the head, that her mother should please write. And, oh, and she, you, she, was, she told you. Where's yes. the lady? <laughs> Where is the lady? No, you guys clap as if you sat on your hand. Look at this. Look at this. God. Oh my God. Jesus is a bad boy. You understand what I mean? Uh -huh. no, don't, don't, don't get all judgy on me now. You told, she told you. She wrote it herself. She wrote it herself. Yes, sir. That her prayer request is what? That she will give her a pen and a paper. That's what she wants to write. Excellence. Yes. Academically. Yes. And her word came there. <laughs> Are you happy? God bless you. Go and become tops in your class. Amen. Listen. Read, oh, okay? 
read very good read okay but by the power that is on this altar i don't care how any other person in your class read they will always the best will be second to you all right in the name of jesus they should go and look for their own altar so they can surpass you god bless you it is done let's hear her god bless you so sister elizabeth came suffering from waist pain since last year okay waist pain now but the lord touched her and she's completely healed now glory to jesus glory to jesus glory to jesus father we give you glory we give you praise can we stand as we glorify the lord let's just thank him in two minutes for all that he has done today the healings are only but a proof that god has touched the lives of many people here can we give the lord praise can we thank him can we glorify his name yes what's that she was healed Yes, sir. Yeah, what was the problem? Sister Obey, innocent, healed of sore throat that lasted for about two weeks. Two weeks sore throat? Yes, sir. But that's a big healing, I'm telling you. That's a big healing. Listen, how many of you have had sore throat for two days? Okay. So two weeks, you know what, the, you know what it is, right? In the name of Jesus, it is permanent. Wave your hands and give the Lord praise. Father, we thank you. L- let me see you after now. Let me see you. I can't say things on stage. Wave your hands and give him praise. Lord, we give you glory. Lord, we give you glory. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. As we all stand tonight, I'm about to release a final blessing on us. But if you are here and you're not born again, Jesus is not Lord and Savior over your life. Can you lift your right hand to heaven so that you can be restored back to him? You are here. You want to say yes to Jesus. You want to give your heart to the Lord. Or you want to rededicate your life to God afresh. Can you lift your right hand quickly? Lift it up very high. God bless you. I see a hand. God bless you. Lift it up very high. Lift it up. Lift it up very high. Don't be ashamed. Lift it up very high. God bless you wherever you are standing please lift it up high i want to pray with you lift it up high god bless you 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 you. say after me from there just say after me my dear say lord jesus i believe that you died and rose again that i'll be saved i receive you as lord over my life and i confess that you are my lord and savior in jesus name amen now come let me pray for you can we celebrate god for her oh there are more just come if you pray that prayer please come if you pray that prayer please come wherever you are if you pray that prayer please come let's seal it god bless you keep clapping celebrate god come on Celebrate the Lord for souls. Father, we declare by the authority of your word that their sins are forgiven. Write their name in the Lamb's book of life. 